is the fact you admitted to sleeping with your baby daddy on the first night. Whew. Can you tell us more about why you think sleeping with someone on the first night is beneficial to a relationship? Good. And you sleep with somebody on the first night, they're coming back. Period. <laughs> like, it's not really much to it. If I like you, I'm not about to wait. What I'm waiting on? Doing it the next week? <laughs> or waiting the next day? What is that gonna, what is that gonna, um solve or that's if he you whether he liked them or not <laughs> that's just how it go what we waiting Jay, on is hell we are Jay, do you think about to lock this down like are we not about to wait like why would i wait and somebody else I never down? never never not been back <laughs> please oh! <laughs> Spe speaking of spending back do he still be spending back uh -oh! Oh, oh, Kendall. Huh? I'm just going to, I'm thirsty, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, he don't spend back. Okay. Uh, okay. He, I'm sure he spent back. But look, like, uh, it's been four months. Now, when did you film the show last year? No, when did we start filming? Um, I don't remember when we started filming, but it really was four months. So, have it been eight months now? Or is oh. that something? <laughs> and I got no shame in my game. And then it's still even like when I'm saying I'm celebrating, and it's like you're lying. You know the hell you not like. I really was not having sex. It's okay to not have sex. Like so you still celebrate? Hell no! I said I'm back outside. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, now. Nah. So this is a very multifaceted conversation. Okay. Um. First things first that I want to say is that. This woman is, if you don't know who she is, she is a social media influencer. She also is on a new um, BET show centered around, centered around um, social media influencers in Atlanta. Um, and she's also the baby mother of uh, rapper Lil Baby. Okay. And the reason why I had to give my reaction to this conversation is because there are so many young girls who admire her and who look up to her fashion wise, um, you know, because of her lifestyle and stuff like that. And so they will take literally anything that she says to heart and run with it. And I think that when you're in that space that you understand that you have a lot of younger women watching you, you have to be a good steward over the words that you say. Right. You have to take responsibility of I know that if I say this, it's going to be interpreted this way. Now, when she first had the conversation, I believe the conversation was actually on the show when all this information got revealed. And, you know, so during this interview, it was her space to now clarify the situation and to stand 10 toes down on this conversation and not um, and know the backlash that's coming and know what other people are going to say about it and say, Mm -hmm, yeah, you should. I said what I said is detrimental. OK, it's very detrimental because you have younger girls who are going to go out there and just be flinging it <laughs> like irresponsibly. Because you're saying if you like him and you want to, then do it. What's the point? You don't need to wait. What's the difference? And this is where the conversation gets tricky. She says, oh, you know, there's nothing wrong with doing that because I've never not had somebody come back or I've never not had somebody call me back. And it's a lot deeper than that. She's like, what's the point of me waiting one month, two, uh, one week, two weeks, or one date, two dates? And um, it, it shows your self-respect, <laughs> for real. It at least shows that you have some kind of boundary because there's a lot of men out there who realize that if it's so easy for them to um, obtain you, then there's a strong possibility that it's easy for other men to obtain you so easily as well. You're not going to have a lot of men who are able to cipher through, um, you know, who you are as a person and say, oh, well, maybe she's like this because of this or, you know, oh, she gave it to me this way. But she's really not that type of person. Like, you're not going to have a lot of men who are going to cipher through that information. So sometimes more times than not, whenever you just, you know, freely allow somebody access to a sacred space of you. 
you are informing them that like, yeah, mm -hmm, I, I give it up like that. Mm -hmm, yeah, it's, it's, it's very easy to obtain. Yeah, it doesn't mean anything to me. You don't have to prove anything to me. You don't have to do anything because I'm going to do what I want to do regardless. I think it's dangerous, okay? I think it's very dangerous for younger girls to see this information. And it's not just about getting a call back. Like, he can call you back, but he's going to put you in a category. Of course he's going to call you back because he knows I didn't even have to, you know, break down any walls to get to this. So, of course I'll call you back because whenever I want this again, you're just going to freely give it to me like you did the first time when I didn't even, you don't even know my middle name. You don't know nothing about me. So, of course, I'll call you back. And I hate so much, right, that when these conversations are had, there's no talk about repercussions. Okay? Listen, diseases are very real. Only take one time to get one. Okay? Um, and contraceptive uh, methods... They can only protect you against a few. Not all. Pregnancy is real. Like, like, what are you, what are you saying? What are you saying? This, I hate when people who have these higher platforms and have access to all of our, you know, younger girls, young women, children and stuff like that. Even grown women who, you know, can't think for themselves in a sense. Who are, who are led by people who are even younger than them when it comes to these kind of messages just because, again, just because of her lifestyle and just because of her financial bracket. The problem is, is that you're saying these things and it's nothing for you to say that to these younger women because it's not going to directly affect you. What you're saying to them and when they follow the things that you're saying, it has no effect on you. That means you don't care. Like you're just saying whatever. Like you're saying what, what what has worked for you. That's not other people's opportunity. Other people don't even look like you. So your opportunities and their opportunities are quite different. If we're being, you know, honest. And then also you're trying to say like, oh, you know, a man will mess with you whether it's good or not. What are you, ma'am? What are you talking about? <laughs> like, have you, have, do you know men at all? <laughs> like, what exactly are you talking about? Men will use you if that option is available because it's available, especially if they have limited options elsewhere. But take you seriously, like, marry you, be in a long term relationship with you. Like, what are you even talking about? And again, I don't I I really because I have a strong heart for younger girls and wanting them to see the different ways. This is why I go so hard on these conversations, because you have somebody who has millions of followers. OK, who is talk, talking like this, preaching this message to younger girls. And they'll think that this is the only way because she's cool. She's pretty. She has a, a um, rapper baby daddy. Like she's in Dubai taking trips. So she must know what she's talking about. This must be the only way to live my life. This must be the only thing that makes sense. And it's not true. In the least bit. It's not true. OK, every situation, we can't say 100 percent across the board. Right. Yes. However, if you look at the majority of situations. Women who just throw themselves out there again, it's going to take a certain type of man to decipher the depths of you if he cares enough. But surface level, he don't know you first night, you know, you sleeping with him or whatever. He's going to look at you as easy, easily accessible. And work with it like that. There are reasons to wait. You need to get to know somebody. Like you need to get to know the person that you're around before you give them access to your body. Like. Huh? I don't know how that I don't know how the re like these conversations have become so like what I'm saying has become so taboo. 
like right in front of our eyes, the things that I'm so saying sound crazy and the things that, you know, this woman is saying sounds like normal. But our, our younger girls need to realize that there's a lot more things that can happen. Okay, even there's a lot of dangerous things that can happen when you do this. Because you don't know who you're dealing with. And you need to know. <laughs> like you, you genuinely need to know. But I want to know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in the next one. Love you. Yeah.